Hey guys, it's me, your dad. Um, things haven't been going great. Um, you know, I've been, I've just been taking a lot of losses lately and, and things have gotten really hard. And I, I, but I need, I need to open a cardboard to feel something. And I, I may have a problem. But I can't afford the good cardboard, you know, I can't, there's so much luxury items out there these days, and it, it's fantastic, but it's like, I can't, I can't risk it, I, it's not worth it, so, I had to go to Canada, where I got, um, well, I guess I should just show you, I got a value product, um, these are 12 uh, completely random booster packs, uh, I don't know what's in any of these, there could be a choking hazard. So, um, let's see what's inside these, I guess, is what I'm uh, proposing we should do together. Um, and I will open them, and you know what? Maybe we'll do okay this time, you know? Maybe we'll do okay. I think we should reveal all of them first, and then I can try to open them in an order. We've got a Kaldheim. That's interesting. I don't think I've opened a... Oh, I opened a Kaldheim once. Forgotten Realms. Whoa. Forgotten Realms. That's the Dungeons and Dragons set. This is the Viking set. It's like its own booster pack game, right? Here we go. Kamigawa. You know this is going to disappoint me. I have, bad, I have a bad relationship with these. And a jump start booster. I guess we'll open that first. That's a, uh, you know, honestly, maybe I should just leave that on the side. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not even gonna open these. <laughs> what is the point in opening those? I don't think you can get a single good thing in those. If that's not the goddamn truth. Oh, whoa, Dominary Remastered. That's kind of cool. Damn. Ooh. I will accept this. Three, four more left. That's quite a lot. Oh, okay. We're doing a whole little stack of these. Okay. Oh, yeah. You got to have the joke booster pack. That's the, uh, the joke set. Which I actually do like. And another joke set pack. Makes sense. And this is our last pack. Joke set. Okay. Um, joke set. We, these are basically the only good ones, to be honest with you. I, I mean, like, is there even any value in me opening this? I could, I could open them if you guys really want to see. I'll just, like, set them aside and I'll give them to somebody. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Let's just give these to somebody so we can see what's in them. See what's in them first and then set them aside. These are like the trash of the trashes. Ready to attack. A phoenix click. Yeah, I don't think there's, um, I don't think there's anything good in here. To Inferno. Rage Hellkite. I don't know if that's good. Oh, Squee! That's kind of cute. Low-key, that's cute. I don't think either of these are worth anything, but we'll hold on to it. We'll check it. I'll uh, I'll leave these here. What is the other? What would our jump start be for this, huh? Sorry about that. What would we have been jump starting? Let's see. I ripped that one a bit too much. Beast Territory. I don't know what's in here. Well, look at this dude. It's a Rootwalla. Hmm. A Briar Hydra. And the, ooh, the world spell. That's kind of cool, huh? I don't think I have this one. Hmm. 
Wow, up to two non-Saga permanent cards from your hand on the battlefield? I mean, it's expensive as all hell, isn't it? But, um, yeah, I mean, whatever. I don't know, man. Yep. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get the joke packs out of the way, but we'll, we'll uh, go out of the way. So, I mean, if there's an acorn on the bottom, it means we can't do shit with it, just so you know. Just so you know. Xeno Squirrel. Oh my god. I didn't know about this. I might have to give this to Scott. Yo, that's fire. Dude, I'm like obsessed with this set. I don't want to open it. I just want to draft it. But like, you know. Squirrel Squatters is so cute. Attempted Murder. Hell yeah. Knife and Death. Yeah, I can't play this one. Just a second. At one second at a time. Ooh, and a pretty swamp. Oh, you know what? Technically, I could pull um, a shock land in these. I forgot about that. You know what? Hey, that's awesome. Maybe we'll get a shock land. Probably not. But that actually is good value. Um, gobsmacked. Scared stiff. Prize wall. Icing manipulator. And the most dangerous gamer. This is actually a popular one. It's kind of a cute one. And an island. I like those lands. These attractions. Oh, and we got some stickers on the back, of course. I'll hold on to these stickers, you know. This game is very cool to draft with. It is a really fun drafting experience. Um, yeah. I guess I'll just, I don't even know. I'm setting the squirrel aside. This squirrel's kind of fun. Scooch. I like this. That's fun. A vegetation abomination. Okay. I love the veggie sore. It's at the salad bar. A real handful. Animate the object. Mm -hmm. And it's Devil K. Neville with a forest. And some stickers. Devil K. Neville's cute enough, I guess. You know, pretty pretty classic acorny design, I'd say. These lands are very pretty, though. The spacic lands. All right. Um, you know, bit of a bust. Most Dangerous Gamer is kind of cool, though. It is an interesting card. <sighs> Christ. Here's, here's, here's the actual potential good shit. Let's open one of these, because I haven't opened one of these in a long time. I don't actually know what's even good in the D&D sets. I know there is some cool stuff, but... Eyes of the Beholder, that's such cool art, though. Secret door. Swimming gabblers. Oh, winner, winner. That is a great common. That's like a $3 common. Cursed Idol. Macy. Macy's Day Parade, Baleful Beholder, Critical Hit, and I have no idea what this is. I have never seen it. You may choose to not untap it during your untap. I, I think this is a pretty mid, mid card, but it's certainly cute. And here's a uh, dungeon. I'll set her aside out of curiosity. Deadly Dispute, though. What a nice pull. Kick in the door, thieves and tails. Plunder in Yuan Ti Fang Blade. Cool. Baleful Beholder. The Devil's Chosen. Cool card. And our rare is the Frog Hemoth. I don't remember this card. And a check for traps foil on the back. Cute. And, uh, oh, look at this. A spider queen. Sometimes these tokens are weirdly rare. Um, land, whatever. I don't know if Frog Hemoth is good. Let's read it, I guess. Whenever it deals combat damage, you exile many target cards from their graveyard. You put a counter on it for each card exiled. Interesting. It's a cute card. It's interesting. 
Okay. There it is on the side. We'll leave. Oh, frick, that was it. I forgot the cow time. Well, there's that. Let's do one of these Dominaria Remastered. Or Remancer. Frozen Protector. Night and day. And. Ooh, not bad. Divine Sacrament, huh? Eh. Oh, cool. I wanted this card. Turnabout. That was a want. These lands are cute. And look, it's a cat. It's a 2-1 cat. I guess we got a Divine Sacrament and a Turnabout. And uh, this Rith's Grove is handy. This other shit, not so much. Um, yeah, let's let's make it like a, a full-on, huh? We'll make it a, a sweep through. Hermetic Study. Savannah Lions. Urborg Uprising. Symbiotic Beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see something in the back that's kind of cute looking. Soul Tooth Lion, the Undead Gladiator. Reek. Ooh! Uh, it's a Simic one. I don't care. It whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my, 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 my God! Oh, Papa's back! Papa's in the house! What? Look at this! Damn, yes, there's an emergency. There's an emergency. They're calling an ambulance, but not for me. I, I'm sorry. I feel bad for whoever that is. Um, Holy shit, dude. I don't know how much that is, but that looks... That's fucking crazy. Oh, my God. I might have hit the value just off of that pack. This box, these packs all cost me like 50 bucks with shipping and everything. That might be like $30. What the fuck? Wow. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I'm just a mess right now. Look how other people organize their shits. This is going to be a bad pack. Let's be real here. I don't get good shit in these packs like ever. And. Yep. But those are nice. Those are cute, too. Yeah, what do you expect? It's not good. Sir Jackramack is not great. He's not great. It's bad pull. Coldheim. Could we get something crazy in here? Yeah, I mean, there is crazy cards in here. Vornclex is in here. Look at this. Snow. I do kind of want to draft this one day for snow. Just for the snow effect. It seems fun, right? The Mistwalker, the Fool of the Imposter, and uh, I don't know this one. And an Ice Tunnel. I don't know this card. Oh, it's a it's a flip. Look at that. So he's a god. As long as you have three more legendary art creatures, he gets a big buff. And I can look at the top six cards of my library and put it into my hand. And on his other side, he's a thing that can buff, I guess, a creature type. It's kind of, kind of unique, I guess. It's a unique, unique character here. Okay. I don't know, though. I don't know nothing. All right. Well, Jesus Christ. That was um pretty nuts. Uh, let's see if Dominary Remaster can give us something good again. Oh, my God. All right, the Jollum Tome break asunder with a solar blast and into a wall of junk and Gerald's verdict and whoa, yo, what the fuck? Borderless legacy weapon. This is a crazy card. Jesus, that's a crazy fucking card for Wooberg decks. That's trippy and nothing. Well, goodness gracious, your dad did pretty good. Um, I guess the old man still got it. Whatever this card is worth. And uh, this card, and funnily enough, uh, this card probably uh, made it 
worth it. But now I have one of these and it is, it is insane looking. That is so neato. Well, this has been fun. Hope you had a good time watching. I'm going to go uh, figure out what I'm doing now. Bye-bye. Mm,